So guys, we have the official announcement and trailer for ARK 2. It's finally happening. I'm going to play the trailer first, then we're going to break it down. I'm going to point out some stuff that I saw. If you guys see anything as well, make sure that you point it out down below. But guys, if you're hyped for this game, make sure that you hit the like button. ARK is not dead. ARK is very much alive. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the trailer. So we're going to do a breakdown of the trailer now. We open up with this image of a uh, a little plant that snaps, and it turns out that it's like this little chameleon-like leaf creature. And uh, you can see it's blending in there. At this point, I did not know this was Ark. 
we have basically, I mean, pretty recognizable. Vin Diesel approaches this little girl. They're both wearing these little like amulet type things on their heads. And they're both wearing very primitive gear with like war paint and stuff like that. But um, obviously Vin Diesel is going to play some sort of like big role in this game. He is playing Santiago, which is a character from Extinction, mainly featured in Extinction at least. Uh, he built the mechs from what I remember. And uh, we might go into the details about this character in some other video. But uh, yeah, we'll find out later on this trailer that he is indeed Santiago. So the whole group is traveling through the forest. We've got this woman here. She's got a dinosaur egg in that pouch. So obviously they were just out killing creatures, as you can see, collecting dinosaur eggs and doing a bunch of stuff. Just grinding out, I suppose. But uh, everything that you see here is very primitive looking. Very, very primitive. And we have these dudes getting ready to, to jump them. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what these dudes actually are. They, they almost look like orcs slightly. They're very strange humanoid style creatures. As you can see right here, they're covered in bones and everything like that. Skulls, bones, just everything. They've got all these spikes kind of coming out of their skin everywhere. Not 100% sure what that's about. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few of them here. And the group gets ready to start battling. Now, what we see right here really doesn't represent the actual gameplay in the game, I wouldn't say. Uh, because it's cinematic. But uh, everything that we see here is probably from the environments of this game, I would say. But yeah, you get you get like a decent look at some of these guys right here. He's got a saber tooth uh, skull there on his head. Um, Santiago begins battling him, and the rest of the group are obviously fighting in the background as well. But we mainly focus on him. He is the main focus of this trailer. Him and the little girl. So these guys carry weapons as well, which is interesting. And actually, watch this in just a second. This is an arc animation with the hatchet. Look at that. Boom. How is that not an arc animation? Right here, I actually captured a really good frame for this. Right here, this is definitely an Archaeopteryx. I, I don't think, like, that's definitely an Archaeopteryx. Either that or maybe a Microraptor. Something similar to that, at least. Um, the face definitely looks like it. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it's either one or the other, but let me know what you guys think. And then, obviously, we get a another invader. <laughs> the T-Rex. Oh my god, in all of its glory, wait for this. So right here, as you can see, it's almost got these bristles on the back. Really not sure how to describe those. They're not feathers. They're not really anything else. Uh, so it's like a different kind of evolved type T-Rex or something like that. It looks beautiful, though. So the whole group is running. The little girl gets left behind a little bit. And boom! It's the old switcheroo right there. I gotta say, this looks fantastic there like just the t-rex design i'm a big fan of it looks like way more like what i want a t-rex in a game like this to look like so we've got santiago fighting there he picks up his spear you can see it's got a metal tip so and right there right there a second ago that is like the perfect arc survivor kind of thing wait for it look at that <laughs> that's so cool so he throws the spear hits the t-rex and is left behind the rest of the group is still fighting off these dudes. These guys are relentless. They're everywhere as well, coming out of the trees in the back there to fight. And um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure if these guys are going to be native to this planet because this is definitely not Earth. Definitely not Earth. We have Vin Diesel obviously coming in, throwing his uh, hatchet at that guy, punching him down a little bit, leaving him for the T-Rex. <laughs> Same with this woman. That would definitely hurt. And... That guy is just like, oh, great. But that's a really good look at his face, though. I mean, like, it's... I don't really know how to describe that. Very humanoid, but different. Very different. <laughs> so the T-Rex pursues. Oh, my God. We get some sass out of the little girl right there. And he gets the last dude. And the cave collapses in behind. Now, this is where it becomes Ark. You know, it could just be a dinosaur game until we see this right here. Oh, that is just, I keep pausing at the wrong times. That is just, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Implants, we are on some sort of ship. And I believe that what we have right here is actually the ship from Genesis Part 2. I think they call it the lifeboat. I'll give my reasons in a second here. But I'm pretty sure this is actually the lifeboat. Right here we have some little like cave paintings. Um, we have like 
that almost kind of looks like Helena, but we have the like a bunch of like survivors here riding on dinosaurs. We've got a parasaur, we've got a T-Rex, a trike, probably like a raptor or something, a stego, a bronto. We have those strange dudes up in the back, whatever they might be called, an obelisk and HLNA right there, dead in the center. Yeah, that's uh that's that's interesting. So this is obviously based after Ark, in case you didn't catch that. We've got a bunch of hands right here, and especially on this one right here with implants on their arms, uh, reaching up to the stars, to the obelisks and everything. Very interesting. That almost looks like another Helena right there. We've got just a bunch of these stones around. And uh, yeah, then our, our hero walks up. Now, I don't know if you guys recognize this right here. If you've played Genesis part one and you've completed or have you just seen the ending i have videos of the ending on my channel if you want to watch it um this right here is one of those little sleeping chambers from the lifeboat ship it's definitely it and even this right here this little interface looks like the exact same thing so i believe that this is where the lifeboat ends up at the very end of genesis part two just my prediction right now so Obviously, we've got a little interface right here. We've got a bunch of information that pops up right here. Uh, so, obviously, we've got Santiago right here. A bunch of information about him. Um, cloning access restricted. So, that's obviously probably something to do with the... Um... Don't you spell access with two Cs? <laughs> Wait, is that a typo? Or is, is that just me being an idiot? I feel like that's a typo. Um, but, yeah, obviously, yes. We've got a bunch of information right here. Um, citizen... Uh, Terran uh, Federation right here and then it's kind of hard to read some of this other stuff right here but basically kind of gives a bunch of uh, information about him and uh, yeah it's not a whole lot that we really is is that is like actually important right now for us to know but um, this right here is kind of interesting like him using this little uh, terminal it almost kind of makes me think that maybe the the implant on your wrist won't be used for uh for a lot of things that you, maybe you can only do a couple things with that and you have to come back here or something like that Old friend. so right now what they're doing is uh they're going to sleep <laughs> and then we wake up and uh yeah i mean this is arc too guys look at this we got pteranodons right here very different from what they look like now beautiful in the back there that's not a bronto that looks like a brachy based on the neck um, I can't see any more dinosaurs in this landscape right here. There probably are some. I'm looking everywhere. I don't see any. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to say about any of this. This is obviously not Earth, which we'll see in a second. But I mean, yeah, we get the new Ark logo right here. One thing, one quick thought about this logo. I love it. This right here, the little like the little uh, war paint kind of coming down saying it's Ark 2. It makes me feel like this is a super primitive game. Uh, this right here almost kind of looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol from like way back in the day. I think it's kind of different nowadays. Uh, but let's ignore the logo for a second. Look at the back. Look at this. This is not Earth. We're not on Earth. This is not Earth. This has got to be the planet that the lifeboat ends up on. Maybe we've ruined Earth again. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, this is incredible though. And that's the very end of the trailer with this shot right here. Guys, what do you think about it? God, that belly button's disgusting. <laughs> what do you guys think about the trailer? I think it looks absolutely crazy. It looks fantastic. I don't know whether or not this is going to be like a full-on ARC survival game or if it's going to be, it's going to have a story mode. I feel like casting somebody like Vin Diesel would mean that it's going to have some sort of story mode, but is it going to be integrated in with the maps or is it going to be a separate mode that you have to play by yourself? Kind of hope it is that, but also a little bit integrated as well. A bit of both is what I'm kind of hoping for, but... um. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Like, especially the, with the introduction of this little girl as well, whatever this character's name is. Uh, just just the fact that we have this, like, father-daughter combo right here kind of almost makes me think that this is going to have some sort of single-player mode. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about the trailer? Let me know down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe for all of the ARC2 news. We're going to be keeping you up to date here on this channel. This is going to be the place to be for ARC2. Just saying that right now. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.